we're going to be making a pair of earrings and the supplies you're going to need are UV resin, bronze micro powder, pink micro powder, some UV resin tape, two mixing bowls, two mixing utensils. You'll need two open bezels, whatever shape you'd like, two jump rings, and two fish hook earrings. And we also have some acrylic paint and um, we're just gonna need a very small amount. If you don't have this, you can definitely use a green dye or a green micro powder. So let's clear this out and then we'll get started. All right, to begin with, we're going to make some little flowers and we're going to use this mold. And you'll need your pink micro powder, one mixing bowl and your mixing utensil and you'll also need a silicone mat or you can just do it right on here uh, this is silicone also but remember I said we're going to mix a little bit of green well we're going to use that on the silicone mat so to begin with put some UV resin in your mixing bowl Put some of your micro powder in there. Not too much, because if you use too much, then it won't uh, cure properly. But if you do have a problem with it curing, um, you can always take it outside and put it out in the sun and let it just sit there for like an hour or two and then it should cure. So just mix that up and make sure you mix it thoroughly so there's no little lumps of the micro powder in there. Like so. And then we'll put just a little bit, just need a tiny bit, don't need a lot, of UV resin. And just take a little bit of paint just off the top from the tube, close it up, set it aside, and then just mix it in with your UV resin. It makes a beautiful color. All right, so to begin, we're just going to take the green. We're just going to dab it into the centers of the flowers. We'll cure this for 30 seconds. Now that the green is cured, we're going to add the pink and we're just going to do little dabs of the UV resin in there because we don't want too much. We don't want it to overflow, but we do want to fill it in so it goes to every petal.
and I will leave a link in the description box of where to buy the supplies. Most of them I have purchased on either Amazon or Wish. Um, Amazon, obviously you get them quicker. Wish, um, you'll have to wait a while to get some of those items. So if you don't need something right away, but you want the maybe a cheaper price, you could go to Wish. But Amazon isn't, as far as pricing, I have not found it to be too much different. So you just fill these all in. I got some little teeny ones here too. Oops, don't want too much. And then we will cure this for 90 seconds. Now that they're cured, we can remove them from the mold. Can't tell if they're focused or not. <laughs> they're so tiny. Just So tiny. And then just make as many as you think you'll need to go into the shape that you chose for your earrings. And remember, you have to do it for two. Next, we're going to be mixing up the color that's the background color of the earring. You'll probably need a little bit more resin for this because it has to fill in at least a thin layer on the bottom of your bezel. And then you're going to use the bronze micro powder. And we're just going to put a couple little spoonfuls or and this is like an edge so just like a couple little of those in there and then we'll mix it up and mix it up good make sure there's no little clumps or bubbles or And then we're going to use our two open bezels and we're going to need some tape which I already cut and I bent down one edge so it's easier to handle and you just place your bezel on make sure it's really secure And then we'll start putting in just a, I'm just checking, make sure there's no bubbles, just a thin layer. And then just spread it out. Make sure it goes to the edges. And then 
work on the second one. Now that I filled the second one, I'm going to cure them for 90 seconds. Now that these are done curing, we'll add a little layer of resin. And then we can start adding all the little flowers in that we made. Look at all these. These are great. I think some are prettier than the others, but we'll use what we have. And we can start placing them in. Um, hmm. Like this one. You might be only because of this this particular um, shape. You might only be able to get you know a couple in that um, that are the larger ones. And you want to try to find a couple that do match. And then just kind of place them generally in the same area. And if you have to move them, use a pair of tweezers and just move it to the pretty much the same area so that they match. Or you can just move them around just to get other ones in too, like so. And then we can use some of the smaller ones in there. And then there's some like real itty bitty ones. They can go in there nicely. Like I said, you just kind of want them to have pretty much the same look so that they match up. And those are the final ones to get in there. And then all the extras that you have, you can just put in a little bag and save them for another project. So now we'll take these and we'll cure these for 90 seconds. Now that they're cured, we're going to put another layer of UV resin over them. And make sure it goes to the edges. And then we're going to cure this for 180 seconds. And then we're going to turn them over and then cure the other side for 180 seconds. Just so that it cures all the way through. Now that it's done curing, we can peel the tape off.
and we can add another layer of resin on the back. Make sure you get it to the edges. And then we can cure this for 180 seconds. Now they're cured. And let's do a close-up. Look how pretty they look. The pink and the bronze go very well together. And even the green, it really like stands out. So the next step would be to either put a jump ring on. I'll show you two different ways you can do this. Just get your pliers. Put a jump ring on. And then put an earring and then close up your jump ring okay so that's one way so when you put it in your ear it will hang towards the side okay or the other way, so if you want it to hang forward, take your fish hook earring, open it up to the side, like so, and then put your earring on, and then close it up. Now when you do this, your earring will hang forward. So it's up to you which way you would like it to hang. You can always try them on and make sure that they're hanging the way you want, either towards the side or towards the front. And the back is even pretty, so if anybody sees the back, it's just a pretty bronze color. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and press that bell for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Also, in the description box below, you will find links to my artwork, photography, and my jewelry. And stay a little longer because I had a little mishap, so that'll be at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh.